to Kemba Walker. Off the assist. When I think about Kemba Walker, I think about a self-made elite PG. He's a little guy that thrives amongst the NBA giants, and he's fearless. Let me tell you about how fearless he is. Even Alvin Gentry said he's probably the biggest competitor he's ever seen. You could put him right up there with the likes of Kobe Bryant from a competitive standpoint. That goes to show you that Walker will do anything and everything to beat you every possession. Finish that! But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that, but when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Down three. Give it to him. Kemba Walker. Two for two. That's what you want. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Ball to J.R. Smith. Let's it fly from long range. Throw it, J.R. It can be no, no, no. Yes, when it goes in. Every hero needs a good sidekick. Nice find to set up a three. Walker, Tatum. Wide open look, won't go. Ooh, I can't believe he didn't get that one to fall. But at the end of the day, he got an open look, and that bodes well for this team. Out of bounds the call. Off Gordon Hayward. to J.R. Smith, beyond the arc for three, and he's fouled, and he earns a trip to the line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximum effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. Second to three, got it. And he cashes in at the line, three for three. Walker with the basketball. Right now, down seven. Right, right, right. And a whistle. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Joel Embiid with a piece. Just incredible timing on that swap. Smith. From the painted area, won't go down. To Walker. Joel Embiid able to recover with the block. Lonzo Ball with the rock. The basket good at the rim. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Into the front court, it's Walker. His team down nine. To Hayward. Shot from the lane, won't go. To Tobias Harris. Going to launch beyond the arc. Buries it on the catch and shoot. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Timeout Boston as they'll go over some tactics now in this first quarter of play. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Number five, Johnson. 
give it to him. Kemba Walker, three for six now. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Sixers have the basketball. To J.R. Smith. Harris. Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball hits the tough shot. The defender played it well. Lonzo strikes. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. To Kemba Walker. No doubt. Slams it down. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. Smith to Tobias Harris. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. there won't go and that's next level defense the defender took away the pocket space of the shooter now as a shooter they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket you're going to lower the chances of them making that shot it's good and one and i know there's so much excitement about the play but everybody looks at the player more people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. been good. The lead now 14. Celtics have it. Tight space with the crossover. Joe LMB sends it away. That's his third block this evening. Screen coming. Whoa, Jalen Brown above the rim. Another possession, they were forced to take a tough shot. This time, they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open look opportunities. To Tobias Harris. Ball. He made his first effort, but not that time. Walker into the front court. Down 12. Here comes the screen. To Walker. The Celtics down to four in the shot clock. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Timing was just a tad bit off. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Hayward. Has a look. Knocks it down from mid-range. There's nothing the defense could really have done there. That's just a great shot. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Trailing by 10. Ah, can't miss those. Another follow, still no good. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Driving right to the basket. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Boston with the basketball. To Kemba Walker. 
Over to the right side. Tatum. That's off the side of the rim. No good. To J.R. Smith. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. As a player, there's nothing better than coming out in the first quarter and playing exactly the same way you played the last couple of days of practice. You're moving the ball, you're capitalizing on mistakes, and you really built a nice lead. Lays it up and in. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Walker with the basketball. Down a dozen. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kemba Walker. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Entering the game for the Philadelphia 76ers. Number 13. Brunson to J.R. Smith. Here's a chance from long range, and knocks it down. Jay for the defender, tough to gamble once the ball's behind the arc. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance, they're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. Grayson Allen to J.R. Smith. Coming. Trying to cash in. Cleaning the offensive glass. It's Boston with the rebound. To Marcus Smart. Hayward. To Jalen Brown. Down to five on the 24. Oh, straight down the middle, 4-2. I mean, I don't know how much better the defense has to play you on that one. The guy was right in your grill, and you still knocked it down. Sixers controlling. Brunson to J.R. Smith. From long range. Won't go down for J.R. Smith. Defense was all over him. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Gordon Hayward, that's how it's done. First couple didn't go. That one is true. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. The Sixers with four to shoot. Has a chance. Smith with a shot. It won't fall. Brown with it up top. Trailing by 11. Doesn't even see the defender. Buries the shot. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Now a whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. That shot won't go because he had no body control you have to be able to control your body when you attack the rim at full speed that's part of your concentration people assume concentration just on the rim but your body control is everything be able to speed yourself up or slow yourself down balls controlled by Boston to Walker lets it fly from beyond the arc Al Horford snares the rebound Ball with the basketball. It's an eight-point lead. Goes to the left side. Has a look. Can't connect. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. 
able to convert inside. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. To ball. 4-3. Count to three for Alonzo Ball. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Walker to Marcus Smart. Now pass stolen by the Sixers. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Trying to cash in. Into the front court, it's Walker. Nine-point margin. To Stanley Johnson. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. That's going to be out of bounds. Almost, but no good. Ball. In a flash. Scores at the rim. And see, this is simple. This is where the PG pulls the bigs over to the side and says, we can't allow that to happen. You need to be an enforcer down low. Short jumper. Won't fall. Two points to the board. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Celtics have it. Screen coming your way. Screen coming your way. Shot by Tatum. Won't go. To Brunson. Don't seem shocked. This is how the game is played these days. Shooting a three is like shooting a layup. Play is stopped. Timeout Boston as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Walker. A Jonah Bolden snatching it out of the air. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Fires the three and drains it. And I don't know why the defense continues to help on guys that drive. Make them take shots over your bigs. By you helping more, you're just leaving three-point shooters open on the perimeter. Wide open look won't go. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. He continues to shoot it well from beyond the arc. That's four threes now in this first half. Yeah, and confidence comes from discipline and training. You can tell that kid's been playing in the time in the gym. Horford fires the three, knocks it down. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Now the Celtics going to use a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Lon 
Alonzo with it. His guys holding the big lead. Has a chance and scores on the step back. Unguardable jet. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse. The ankles or the bruised ego. To Marcus Smart. No good. Oh, it looked like he may have gotten him there. Count the basket at the rim. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Knocked loose. Nothing's going to stop him in pursuit of the basketball. Johnson to Kemba Walker. Five seconds to shoot. Has a look. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Rebound hauled in by the Celtics to Stanley Johnson. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Let's it fly from long range. Tatum grabs the rebound.
Celtics have it. And he finishes at the rim. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Ball. A uh, pass taken away by the Celtics. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Gets it to go, and the foul. If you're the defender, you can't keep your hand outwards in the pocket of the shooter. The offensive player recognized that. He raked his arms into yours on his way up to take the shot. That's a foul every time. Free throw try, off the mark. Knocked loose. Joel Embiid pins it for this contest. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Ball. Goes to the right side. Beyond the arc for three. Trying for a 30-point night, but it's no good. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. Can't ask for much more. He's perfect. Five for five from the field. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To J.R. Smith. Going to launch beyond the arc. Won't go down for J.R. Smith. Defense was all over him. Knocked loose. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Here's a steal. Dangerous pass. To Jalen Brown. The drive right to the basket. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Missed it at the line. To Embiid. Joel Embiid. It's like he's shooting into the ocean. He has not missed. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Philadelphia with the basketball. Short jumper off the mark. Nothing going here go. on that drive. Right here, right here. Watch cutter, watch cutter, watch cutter. Corner three at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen.
Thanks, Ed. Let's get right into the action here. The 76ers have the advantage on the scoreboard at halftime. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. These are the guys getting buckets for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Celtics are in need of some changes at the half. They've got the break to figure some things out. And trust me, they've got a few things to figure out. Still, it's not like they're totally out of this game. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Defense. The Philadelphia 76ers are exhibiting some great defense. They're refusing to let shooters get comfortable and showing great anticipation in the passing lanes. Player of the half. I'm ready to skip ahead and just get this guy player of the game. You can tell he's on his way to a special game. Here we go with the top three plays. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. See you again after the game. Boston with the basketball. A drive, but he can't get it to go. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Jason Tatum has got two shots coming for his career, 82%. First try at the line, no good. He missed them both. I got this plan. Let's go. To J.R. Smith. Here's a chance from long range. Well, with J.R., it can be no, no, no. Yes, when it goes in. Well, they're shooting the ball at an amazing clip. And when they shoot the ball this well, they're essentially unguardable. And Ed, let me tell you what that does for the team. It eventually opens up space to put the ball down on the ground and get to the rim. That's how critical the three-point shot is. And count the basket. Ed, sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Walker into the front court. His guys down big. Driving right to the... Got a piece of it. <clears throat> Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. To Jalen Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown above the rim. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone.
Ball's controlled by Boston. Tobias Harris sends it away. Incredible. Six tonight. Stuffs it down with authority. And ISO basketball is becoming a thing of the past. Team basketball is back. And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. Alonzo Ball, it's rebounded by the Celtics. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Down a bundle. Nice pass to get things going. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. 2 MB From long range. Off the mark. No good. Down the lane. The shot won't fall. 2 MB. To ball. MB. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Not going down here. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Mm. I remember my high school coach said one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Ball to MB. To Tobias Harris. Trying to cash in. Wide open look won't go. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Has a chance. Gordon Hayward. That's how it's done. Three for six now. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Two MB. Four three. Missed it. And a put back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Celtics have it. Walker. They need something to go down. It's no good. Smith with it up top. His guys holding the big lead. To Tobias Harris. For three. Off the mark. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Walker. Throws it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your ball, offensive ball, rhythm. Ball, 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 ball. To Tobias Harris. Layup goes down. Well done. And I love when people are saying, well, he's not an exciting player. I don't need him to be exciting. I need him to be fundamentally sound. To Jalen Brown. Hayward. Now a steal by Philly. Brown into the front court. He'll run the offense. Jason Tatum. Trying to convert the extra try. He struggled so far. And he knocks it down at the line. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Can't connect. It's no good. Ball into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. Smith. Got him. Got him. Be up, baby. Be up. Fires the three. It's Tatum with the rebound. Brown with it up top. Hey, switch, Looking to make something happen. To oh, Hayward. Baby, shoot that, shoot that. Tatum. It's good. Defense has to pick things up. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that. Continuously moved without the ball. Bang. That's how he set it up. Short jumper stays out. See, the defender did a really good job. He stayed down. He didn't go and bite for all the head fakes. He waited until the last second to contest that shot. Way to know the scouting report. And one. And 
Embiid, good through the contact. And going to the line for a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Joel Embiid at the line for a chance at a three-point play for his career 77% at the line. Can convert the free. Come on, y'all. Let's go get it. It's on up. Substitutions for the ball field. Into the game for the Celtics. Number 20. Hayward. Tatum. No good. That's great defense. And big-time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Harris always looking to create a shot, even ones like those. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To Allen. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Joel Embiid trying to cash in on a three-point play. He struggled so far. Embiid's free throw, good. A three-point play. The Sixers extend the lead. It's me, it's me, I got it. To Hayward. Gets it in the right corner. Has a look. Deep two there, won't go. To Allen. Finishing inside the paint on that one. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. To Hayward. Gets it in the left corner. Fine to shoot. Turns and slams it down. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. To J.R. Smith. Gets a shot up off the mark. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Gordon Hayward at the line for two shots for his career, 82%. Off the mark on the first free throw. Good recovery. Hits the second free throw. Sixers have the basketball. To Tobias Harris. Fires the three. They the snuffed it out. Three. Tobias Harris missed it. I got him, I got him. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. Can't connect from inside. To J.R. Smith. Let's it fly from long range. Won't go down for J.R. Smith. Defense was all over him. Sixers have it. Harris. Great feed. Sets it up. Trying to cash in. 
add two points to the board. Oh, he buckled his knees so bad, it didn't matter if he scored or not. That's a win for the internet. I got ball, I got ball. I got some for him. To Allen. Smith. To Tobias Harris. Not that time. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. It'll stay Celtic basketball. Hayward. Mid-range. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Sixers control it. To Hayward. Beyond the arc for three. Hayward nails the trifecta. I hope everyone here knows the golden rule. Guys, remember, sharing is caring. Match up, match up, match up. To Tobias Harris. Going to launch. Beyond the arc. He's been dialed in from long distance. That's now five threes for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching Defense. tape, seeing the fact that he Defense. got 15 go. points off three-point shots. Marcus Smart, good touch. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced league. Either the coaches adapt, or you'll be left behind. To J.R. Smith. Here's a chance from long range. Can't connect. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Deep right corner from long range. He was crowded. Grayson Allen off the mark. To Hayward. Self-check. Terrific vision. And counted at the rim. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Hayward. Over to the right side. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. It's no good. Shots not going down. And a pass stolen by Boston. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. And no emotion, just that ice cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Philadelphia okay, with the basketball. I got, I got him. Here we go. Goes to the right side. Two MB. Off the assist. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To J.R. Smith. 4 3. Well, with J.R., it can be no, no, no. Yes, when it goes in. And watching all these great shooters on the floor at once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching the shot in slow motion, the backspin. It gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. Hayward, no good. 2 MB. Stuffs it down with authority. Sometimes when the players find that flow, Nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. Celtics have it. Hayward. The drive right to the basket. Short jumper won't fall. 
The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. Hayward. Shot from the lane won't go. To Tobias Harris. Down low to Smith. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. To Hayward for three. He's had a good shooting performance, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Yeah, no one else pretty much helped out. As a coach, I would be irate that nobody helped pick up the slack. Look, one man can never beat five. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Harris. That's no good. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. Tyler Zeller, huge block. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. Boston with the basketball. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Let's just let the clock run out. We got to get out of here. I got a dinner to go to. And he hits. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Walker with the basketball. His guys down big. And count the basket inside. Did you see that change of direction mid-flight? And also the English he utilized to spin the ball off the rim? That was a thing of beauty. Nothing going here on that drive. To Brunson. Fires the three. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. It goes down. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot again. Ball's controlled by Boston. Walker. He missed his first four from downtown. He finally gets a three to go. I'm going to tell you what every shooter thinks after he misses four in a row. One has to go in eventually. 